Everyone loves sales and getting games for cheap, but how would you feel if that game you got for $5 less than the original price was obtained illegally? Wow, it's just like real life. Man. You seem to be playing a hacked version of this game. What the? I'm sure many of you have heard of websites like G2A, but just in case if you haven't, a quick overview is that they're a key reseller where users on their platform will buy keys externally and sell them on their website for a supposedly marked down price. Now, G2A and similar sites have a certain reputation in the indie developer sphere. It's so bad to the point that some developers would rather you pirate their games than buy it from a key site. Running with Scissors, developer of one of the games of all time, Postal 2. Hi there, would you like to sign my petition? Fuck you, buddy! Express their pity dot key sites on Twitter. CD key sites like G2A have been hurting indie studios for years. Want to support us? Buy from our website. No money? Just pirate our games. Just don't buy from those key reselling websites that may or may not contain illegally obtained keys. Obviously, in Twitter fashion, other people wanted to express how they were wrong. Our saint Kevin Green here comes in really giving Running With Scissors a reality check. No, they haven't. The problem lies with studios selling keys to unverified people that turn out to be scammers with a stolen credit card. These are companies that can handle verification. No legit reseller is going to object to going through some verification process. If you don't know how things work, don't talk out your arse. Scammers buy those keys from legit sites, but with stolen credit cards, and they resell them on resale sites like G2A. So you might have a couple questions right now. There are illegal and legal key sites. How do legal key sites get their keys? And why would Marvel let my child here Chris Pratt drop the F-bomb? Now what? Open the fucking door! Well, to answer those questions, let's discuss the three main ways someone can buy a game. Firstly, you have first-party sellers. They're pretty simple. It's basically the company that controls the platform and generates their keys. This is your Steam and Epic Games. They're apps where the developer posts their game to. Next up, you have third-party sellers. These are sites who are in contact with the first-party sellers and buy keys in bulk at wholesale from them to sell on their own sites. They're known as official resellers. These are sites like Humble Bundle, Green Man Gaming, and Fanticle. If you're wondering where you can find sites like these, I'll show you a handy tool I use for finding them later on in the video. After that is when we get into the shady Breaking Bad businesses known as grey market sellers. These sellers have no connection with first party sellers and have the most shady business practices, usually having external users provide keys for them to sell on their site and receive a percent of what the user sells the key for. Maybe at first glance those grey market sellers don't sound so bad. A way you can sell off unwanted keys for a bit of extra cash? <laughs> That's amazing! But when you dig a little deeper, you find that grey market sellers are a way for scammers to sell off keys they bought from third party sellers using stolen cards. Another method scammers use to get access to keys, and my personal favourite, is by emailing game developers acting like streamers, YouTubers. You crush me with your coochie. Suffocate me with your breasts until I, I die. And game reviewers requesting keys to try out your game and show it off or give it a review. If you really want to try out a game and stream it to an audience, at least have the decency to buy the game yourself and show some support. Even if you don't like the game, you can just refund it rather than the developer not getting any real benefits other than a couple of impressions. I received a bunch of emails myself as soon as I released my game to Steam, Meteorites 3D, and I started getting a ton of emails just like this. Hey, the here. I post daily vids on YouTube and daily streams on Twitch. I tried to buy all types of indie games and find hidden gems in gaming industry and your game caught my attention So here I am asking a key so I can play meteorites 3d here. We have one from cool gamer I'm and working as both content creator and VFX artist I started streaming two years ago But managed to get 36 K followers and average 200 to 300 subs per month love FPS shooting But I play everything that I find interesting Do you mind if I ask for a steam copy so I can play meteorites 3d? Well, I mean with a name like cool gamer. How could I decline? Hello? I'm and I tend to review games after 100% completing them on my YouTube channel for a while now. In the time I spend on gaming, I like to play a variety of titles. I saw Meteorites 3D in the Discovery queue, and after checking it out, I'd like to try it myself. You can make this happen by providing a Steam key. I'm really looking forward to that. Yo, I'm... Twitch streamer and YouTuber. I've been streaming for like 5 to 6 months. I got 26k followers and 10k subs on YouTube. I stream games, react to videos, and funny vids, which you can find my stuff on both YouTube and Twitch. Someone offered me to play Meteorites 3D, and I checked it out. I liked what I saw, and I want to play your game on my stream if you can provide me a single Steam key. I'll stream it. The worst part is, Grey Keys are able to backfire on 
you, the customer, and to no one's surprise, the developer. The customer can have their game deactivated by the developer if the key was found to be fraudulently obtained, for example, if the card that was stolen asked for a refund. G2A offered a solution using everyone's favourite money siphoning technique, monthly instalments. You can't keep getting away with it! This was a way you could pay extra money per month to offer any insurance if a game got deactivated. Then they would refund you with G2A credits to use to buy more stolen keys. This was called G2A Shield, but has been discontinued since. I wonder why. Now you might be wondering how the developer gets fucked over. Well, once a key has been used and the card company demands for a refund for the fraud on top of that including chargebacks, so not only does the dev lose out on a sale, but it also ends up costing them money. Now between you and me, a lot of these big companies drowning in money might not even feel the hits, especially since they'll have higher tech support dealing with these issues for them. But when this type of thing happens to an indie developer whose sole earnings come from their games and have to use that money usually to pay bills, it can really waste them time and money having to deal with the chargebacks. So as you can tell, it's a pretty shitty business practice, especially for smaller developers who in some cases might not even be able to pay back the chargebacks due to how little income their smaller games will make. And I'll be open to admit that I used to use these key sides myself, since sometimes the prices these games are selling for can be really tempting. But after performing a poll on my community tabs, I also found out that a good chunk of you guys do too, but since finding out about all those shady practices and learning about third party sellers, I prefer to use those sites now since at least I know the developer isn't losing out and I can occasionally get the game for an okay price. I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money, but at least I can rest happy now knowing that you know the moral implications behind grey market key sites and you can choose if you want that knowledge to burden you or not. Now as I mentioned earlier, there's this really handy tool which will list out all the verified third party sellers and along with that will list if any game you're looking for is on sale on there. Introducing today's not sponsor, IsThereAnyDeal.com. This website comes in hand if you really have your eye on a game that you really want but don't have the money for right now. As you can put your game of choice on a watch list and the website will notify you when the game goes on sale on any of the third or first party seller sites. If you're wondering where the list of the official third party sellers is, here it is. I'm not reading that out because the video is already long enough. So now you finally have a great resource to find out when my favourite game, Disney's Pixar Toy Story 3 the video game, goes on sale. Speed. One winner. Forty-two losers. 